our creative curriculum has really allowed us to engage the pupils um, and because of that we've been able to raise standards and really move the school light years ahead in terms of technology. We had um, an Ofsted-like inspector come in to observe a French lesson and during that lesson, as we do in most of our um, French lessons, the children use the flip cams, which are really handy because they're quite small for the children to use. Um, so once I've taught them some um, French phrases and things like that and conversation, they will take the flip cam and record themselves um, having the conversation, so obviously it might be a group of three, so two will have a conversation, one will use the camera. And what we do whilst we are in the lesson, we have a midway plenary, and what's great about the flip cams is that you can plug them straight into the USB port of your computer, you don't need to download any software, it's almost instantaneous and the kids love to um, watch back the things that they've played and they see mistakes that they might have made or actually um, praise each other on how good it was but it's good to have quite an immediate feedback on um, what they've just done. We try and really follow their interests so and a lot of them because they've got the computer at home they love the games they're playing on the internet they know all the CBeebies characters so we try and introduce that in so the computers are on all the time the children have um, free access to them obviously when they're on the internet we're monitoring what they're on and what game sites and things like that um, Education City is a big one because they're simple games that they can play very bright very colourful lots of sounds so they're games that they can do as well so they seem to love the computers and there's always kind of lots of interest to go on and you know we have to actually time them and give them a little sound timers because they can learn to share the computers uh, I think ICT gives children that extra motivation. It's not just about looking at the book or looking in the dictionary. You can actually use ICT as a different medium for learning. And it, it's changed, I think, children's perception of coming into school. It's not just about, you know, find a book, read a book. They actually can find a whole wealth of information from using the internet, um, doing games, which they probably don't realise is actually testing their skills. But... They're having fun with it, and I think that's what ICT really does. It it creates that enjoyment, and the children don't really feel like they're learning, but actually they're doing a hell of a lot. Well, I think as a school, um, we've made sure that we've become very aware of the ICT um, targets and objectives that are in the literacy, poly uh, literacy strategy. So that was the first starting point for us. Um, from there, we then looked at sort of reception right the way through to year six. And in each of those year groups, ICT is used effectively. So sometimes, for example, in reception, they're using ICT um, to take pictures and they use that to perhaps write instruction booklets and um, recounts of journeys and trips that they take. And right the way through to um, animation and in year six, we're about to start doing documentaries um, on famous people. Um, so it's become something that's very, very embedded um, within the school and within literacy. It opens up new avenues, so things that they wouldn't necessarily be able to see. So um, when we do our butterflies, we can have it on the screen, they can see them emerging, things like that, because when we had them in the class, that was the one stage that they missed because it happened overnight when the children weren't there. So you could watch it on the screen, really big interactive screens so the children can kind of see everything very clearly, all got... Um, good view, easy access and it really holds their attention so it just it opens up so many more avenues so rather than just looking at a book you know a small book in front of them that they can't all see it's something that really does engage them. I think it, they should embrace technology because it really encompasses everything schools are trying to achieve with the Every Child Matters agenda and the personalised learning like I mentioned earlier um, and it's just engaging the children into something that they're, they enjoy, something that they're interested in. Nowadays it's really clear that we're preparing children for the future and the future is ICT. I mean, you see it everywhere, how children will be just using computers and they won't be writing anything in the next 20 years. So we really need to prepare children for the role they're going to play, for the way that society is changing. Um, we use the internet a lot in class, we use programmes such as RM Maths and Lexia to help with improving um, math skills and literacy skills. Uh, we use the interactive pad which allows the children to actually 
um, touch the board, use the board and it's different facilities. Um, we use programs such as BBC Bite Size, which are fun science, science English, maths based um, games that actually work as a really good plenary. They take everything you've taught in a lesson and sum it up for the children and again they feel like they're having a good time with it. As the um, physical development coordinator, I do have to monitor PE lessons. So I do you see the use of um, music in lessons. I see the use of video cameras by the teachers and by the children. I see the use of um, CD-ROMs to teach them skills, movements and developing their ideas. Children are so used to mobile phone texting. I mean, they're far better at me than me at it. So they're very, very dexterous, you know, they're good at using, you know, the hands for things. So as soon as you give them a bit, you know that they probably know far more than you. And it's then a question of how they access, you know, the curriculum from there. And it's just using that little bit of creativity and with the wonderful resources that we've got. Most of the personalised learning is actually about finding out, channeling to what the children are interested in and actually thinking of lessons to do with that. Um, so if we can incorporate animation work or com comic work, for example, um, or video them outside doing a mummy rap, for example, you know, and, and being able to show these things back to the children. I think that's a key thing, because so much of their work is actually lost. They'll perform it, and then that, that'll be it, you know, and we can upload things to Fronter so that parents can see. I mean, ICT is, has had a huge impact on, on Every Child Matters and personalised learning because it's what they're interested in. And they appreciate that we're trying to get in with what they're interested in as well. So they, they appreciate that we're trying to find their interests. If you see the children are engaged and if they're infused with the introduction of new ICT initiatives or software, then it really helps in the classroom. It makes our jobs easier, really, to be honest. Quite often, half the issue of behaviour and management within the class is children not being engaged in what they're doing but the minute you sort of bring in ICT in any form be it cameras, computers, um, they're into it.